Um, off screen, I played through winter and it was really nice actually to just sort of, like I really just relaxed and, and played and it was a lot of fun. But I wanted to get through winter because we need that truffle for the community center and we can't get it in winter. So we are now the first of spring and it is year three, which means grandpa is coming. So, yikes. Here he is. There's a striking resemblance to Santa Claus. My dearest granddaughter, it's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little girl, do you remember? Look how far you've come. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. That's a little bit uncomfortable. You see, my body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. Oh, I skipped that by accident. You've done well, my dear. Sassius Farm has never looked better. It's an honor to the family name. Grandpa is pleased. Mm, okay. The future of Sassius Farm is in your hands now. Farewell, well, well. Okay, so that's the thing that happened. Um, lots of changes. So let's just go through them slowly. Uh, calendar, bought it. It is, now we have it, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Also, we, up, we upgraded the house in the last one, if I remember correctly. And um, yeah, so Sam and I had a kid <laughs> a couple days ago. <clears throat> uh, it's a girl. Her name is Rini because Sailor Moon. And uh, I was happy that we had a girl because in my last file we had a boy. And his name is Garrus. So, that happened. Sorry you guys missed it, but I feel like... I mean, I did show it in the other one, so I didn't feel too bad about it. Surprise baby, the best kind, right? No. <laughs> um, okay. So, Grandpa's Shrine is now available. Three candles. We're close. Um... We don't have the community center finished yet, and I think that's what's really holding us back. So, that's an issue. Uh, what else did I do? I upgraded all my tools. <laughs> I worked really hard to get everything Iridium, so I was mining like crazy. Uh, so I did that, and I've been just, I've been selling coffee like it's going out of style. Luxcore, thank you for the follow. Have a paradox. Um, but yeah, coffee, great way to make money. Especially because if you, um, harvest isn't the right word. If you collect it multiple times a day and then sell it, it's great. Also, I've just been using it because it makes you move a lot faster. Can we get a tour of the community center? Yes. We can. It's just, it's not done yet. Did you just want to see, like, what is left? Because there's only one thing left, and it's a truffle. That is the only thing left. So we need to put some grass in there and shove the animals outside. So that my piggies can find truffles. So we'll just clean this up here. I'm going to try to put grass in the other area so that I have it. Uh, fun fact. Uh... <laughs> Grass obviously doesn't grow in the winter, but I didn't have enough fodder to last the winter, so I had to spend a ton of money buying fodder from Marnie all winter, and it was really annoying, so watch that. That's a pain. Alright. So, looking good here. I made a shed, put it right here, and this is basically what I put in it, so... You got your, what are these, furnaces, I think. Um, recycling machines, this bait thing, the crystallarium, I think that's what it's called. 
this thing that I never use. Bunch of seed makers, bunch of oil makers. Uh, Cause truffle oil sells for a decent amount. Once we finally have truffles, uh, mayonnaise makers, some cheese makers, and um, cloth. Or loom, I guess. And then we already had this, but I kind of moved it over a little bit. So that's that. Thank you. I like the shed a lot. It's super nice. Collect my mushrooms for the day. It's not too expensive. It was like 15,000 plus some, I think it was just wood. I don't think it needed any other materials. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Cherries are back. First off, I gotta get rid of this. Okay. And apricot. So I'll get that. And this is my greenhouse now. <laughs> so it's really full. In my other file, I didn't know that you could put trees along the outside, but you can. So I put a bunch of trees all around. I think I still have space here. So eventually I'm gonna do that. I was running out of money when I bought a bunch of trees. So, I mean, I've earned it back thanks to coffee, but. Uh, so I have a row of hops back here because pale ale sells for a good amount. And then this is all coffee beans all coffee beans <laughs> uh and that's how i've been making money ever since they nerfed berries it's not been the same and i find that that works pretty well so right now we're going to be saving for the next house upgrade i think it's the last one and that will add a basement and you can make aged wine and cheese in there and that's a hundred thousand so we're a little bit off of that that's okay. We'll get there. Is the cat able to get to its face? Probably not, but you know what? Sacrifices need to be made. Hey, Mystic Jedi. I meant to say hi to you when I noticed you, but I was too busy being grandpa. You know how it is. Starbucks wants a shared portion. I'm like running my own Starbucks, basically. coffee you don't like i don't either the only coffee i like is iced coffee like from wawa so it has like a ton of sugar in it it's too bitter for me i just don't like and hot coffee just tastes wrong it's like this should not be this temperature i don't know never been a coffee drinker just don't like it all right so we pretty much have the farm kind of cleaned up for the most part. So now we'll go take care of our animals. I don't think I got any new animals off screen. I don't think. Oh look, a rabbit's foot. We don't need it, but. I did have to recently sell one of the dinosaurs because they stopped giving eggs so we have another dinosaur incubating in there hey okay so we have two pigs oh did not mean to hit the pig that should not have happened that annoys me about harvest moon games when that happens when you accidentally hit them like with your tools because you obviously don't mean to do it but it doesn't seem to affect them in Stardew Valley which is really nice but I've had that happen to me in Back to Nature I accidentally hit my cow Jabar Jabartic JB Arctic Fox is that what it is JB Arctic Fox thank you for the follow Mystic Jedi says, I got Trio of Towns and I saw your latest video. Get under the cow and drink directly, you said to Wayne. Really? <laughs> what? I mean, all he has to do is put his face under there. Kind of like a slushy machine. There's not much difference, is there? I'm really liking 
Tree of Towns. I think they improved a lot of stuff. I mean, I still have some gripes, but I'm pretty happy with it. I need to do my video on Lullaby Gardens. They sent me a demo of it, which was so nice of them, and I just have been swamped. So I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but you guys can expect a video on that. <clears throat> That's another PC Harvest Moon style game. They have a Kickstarter going. So, if you want to uh, donate to that, you can. <clears throat> Gosh, I gotta clear my throat. All right. It's a lot of stuff in my inventory right now. No, don't eat it. It's not what we want. As you can see, I have a lot of coffee. Oh, also, the other thing. I got two prismatic shards in the mine, which I was so excited about. And I actually got them within about two minutes of each other. Um, I got them in the mine from... I think it was the stones that have iridium in them. Atomic Purple Mama. Thank you for the follow seeing a lot of pearl tonight um but yeah I managed to get a prismatic shard so I was really excited and then I went down to the next floor and got another one right away so did not come from an omni geode had no luck at one point I had I think 25 and I had Clint open up every single one and I was like you've got to be kidding me but yeah but we got it, so we're going to have to get the best sword ever here. Soon. Once I put all my crap away. I also recently learned that uh, fruit that you get from your trees, the jelly that you make from it, it sells for more than uh, cranberries or... Um, foraged fruit so I've been making orange jelly just because you get a little bit more money for it which is kind of nice okay so I should put iron in there I gotta sell that pale ale can't forget that I have a lot of crap Tell us, who are you going for in, tri in Trio of Towns? Tell the Kita fam. I'm not telling you guys. I can't. Plus, I haven't met everyone, so even if... Like, I, I think I might... No, I don't know, though, because I didn't think I would like Wayne or Ford at all. When I first saw them, I was like, no, I'm not... You know, these guys are weird. I'm not going to like them. But I actually do. So it's going to be harder than I thought to choose. Is it worth it to to make mayonnaise from an iridium egg, or should I just sell it as is? I'm not sure. I don't know if mayonnaise sells more or if iridium egg sells more. I should look that up, probably. I don't know, because I have the artisan thing, though. So it might actually be better for me to do that. Because I don't think you can get iridium mayonnaise or anything. Maybe you can. Can you? Do I have some? I have gold mayonnaise. I don't know. Alright, sell that, that. I'm gonna keep one of those. You can watch me go super fast. DJM says, I feel like Story of Seasons Tree of Towns peaked at Stardew a, a bit for ideas. I don't know, maybe. I kind of wish that they would have done uh, some other things like Stardew Valley. Like, Pierre, am I too late? Dang it. Pierre. Pierre, sell me stuff. 
I feel like um, some of some of it is a little bit too complicated for me. Like, if I have to write stuff down, then I get irritated. W w if it's not a puzzle game. I mean, if it's, you know, if it's like mist, yeah, okay, you kind of expect that. But for this, to have to, like, try to write stuff down and, like, all the different fertilizers, all the different treats, it... I just feel like that's a little bit much, and again, that's just my opinion. I mean, a lot of people seem to either not, they don't mind it, or they like it. It's just, it seems a little bit complicated for me. Kita can be the grandmaster of all farming simulators. I would, I would take that. <laughs> that's like... That would just be my legacy of YouTube. Uh, okay, Tree of Towns is processing on YouTube, so... I'm gonna try to, like, let it go live, so... I might pause here to do that in a couple minutes. Beets. No, those are in the fall. Rhubarb, that's what I wanted. Do I have any other... Well, I have a bunch of mixed seeds, so I can plant those. Do I really not have any strawberry seeds? I thought that I did. Guess not. Guess not. All right, so that's not what I wanted to do. No, you need to be down more. Well, rip. Not quite what I was going for. I want to get more rhubarb, though. Which, I think... I don't know if Pierre sells it or if you can only get it at the desert. I'm not sure. My problem... My biggest problem with Stardew Valley is that the tools never, like, listen to me. They do whatever they want. There are so many times when I'm not facing the right direction. And that really annoys me. So what do you think of Trio of Towns uh, friendship events? It's kind of interesting that they have friendship events before love events. Like, oh, we're becoming friends first. Like, that kind of makes sense. Instead of just jumping into, like, you know, I love you. Spoiler, today's video is Ludus' friendship event, so... Which is exciting. Haven't gotten any of Fords yet, <laughs> because... The first one is only on Saturday or Sunday, so that really limits everything. <laughs> and uh, today was Thursday, so I was able to get Ludus's. But I'm going to try to get Ford soon. Okay. That's all I have right now. Uh, do I have... I do have a few strawberries. I guess I could put them in the seed maker and plant some. Strawberry wine gives a good amount of money. Though I probably won't even bother with that just because of the hops. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. See how long that takes. It's already 11. Do you ever plan on doing another Phoenix Wright game on your channel? Um, possibly. Phoenix Wright... Uh, I love the games. But... It didn't do as well as I had hoped it would do. Um, not a lot of people watched it. So, it's kind of like, I gotta consider that in doing the sequel. You know what I mean? Uh, plus, it's a lot. It's, it's a, I have to be careful with, when I'm doing something like um, Story of Seasons or kind of a... If I'm doing any kind of simulation where there are voices involved, 
I have to watch because if I'm recording another series at the same time that's also using, like, doing voices, it really strains my voice. Uh, and I have to kind of be wary of that. Thankfully, I already have Pokemon recorded. Like, I worked really hard to get that done. Um, there's only one episode I have left, and it's the Elite Four rematch. So, that's all done. So, I'm not recording any more Pokemon right now. Um, so I can just sort of focus on recording Story of Seasons, which is nice. But Phoenix Wright, like, the episodes, or the the cases were so long, and they're, and in the first game especially, you can't save in between. So I would just want to play through the whole thing, obviously. And then, like, it would really tire out my voice. So I have to kind of watch. Like, if I were playing something like... Um, Bioshock that doesn't really require that then it wouldn't be as big of a deal because I'm not straining my voice as much but playing Story of Seasons and playing uh, Rune Factory or or um, I don't know anything else that would require that like Phoenix Wright like a visual novel like Phoenix Wright or Danganronpa or 999 where I'd want to you know do voices for the characters it would just be a lot uh, of strain, so. <laughs> Errant Raccoon, you forgot the stream was tonight. That's okay. Pausing to take a drink. Have fun waiting for Ludus' second event. It occurs in the fall. What? What? Are you for real? I'm like checking because I don't, because <laughs> I'm going to be really mad if that's true. That is bullshit. Fall 17th? Are you serious? I call bullshit on that one. I'm upset, guys. You were busy cleaning up in Hitman? That's awesome. I love Hitman. I had to take off my hoodie. It's the Mass Effect Novaria hoodie, so it's lined. It's really nice, but it, it gets hot. But it's been really cold because of the snow. I don't know if you guys, some of you follow me on Twitter, but um, we're in the northeast, so we got hit with that snowstorm. I think we got maybe eight inches or something, but we also got sleet, so that wasn't fun. Um, but, uh, so it's been, like, super cold. You married Wayne, he's the easiest. Oh, you go for the easy guys, I see how it is. Oh, thanks, I mean... <laughs> Maybe I should get some off-road wheels for my skateboard. Mayor Lewis can't touch me out here. What a cutie. Also, you really didn't have to water the crops, Sam. I mean, I have sprinklers for that. Just, just saying. I'm really irritated that that event doesn't happen until fall because I'm trying to, I'm trying to go through them quickly because it took me forever in the first story of seasons to get them because I was just sort of like, I mean, I was in a whole different headspace when I was recording that. It's really weird to look back on it. It's almost like baby pictures. And you're just like, not baby pictures, more like awkward middle school pictures. And you're like, I wore that, I said that, I did that. That's sort of what that feels like. Because that was about two years ago, almost. In April, it'll be two years, which is very weird to think about. But like, I knew nothing of audio editing, so the audio does not sound as good. Which... Most people don't really notice as much as I do, but I'm just a perfectionist that way. Um, and I wasn't as sure of myself. I didn't think that... I didn't really even think of it being successful at all. That was just a game that I played because I saw it was coming out, and I loved Harvest Moon, and I had been disappointed in some of the other recent Harvest Moon games, so... Okay, stop, stop milking the cow. 
And uh, I was like, well, why don't I play this? Like, I'm playing Fantasy Life right now, and people seem to enjoy that. Maybe they'll like this, but I didn't really think that anybody would watch uh... it. And lo and behold, they did. So this time around, I, you know, I kind of more know, like, what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, feel better about myself and all that good stuff. All right, piggies, go find me some truffles. All right, now now comes the fun part of harvesting. Whoa, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm angry. All right, we'll just plant that back. <sighs> Iridium pickaxe. We're gonna have a talk. Anyway, so now we're gonna have the fun the fun task of harvesting all this coffee. Alice 9 says, I definitely understand cold. My heat decided to blow out cold air like it was in the height of summer. Oh, jeez. That would be horrible. Ever gonna play Hitman or stream on your channel? I'm curious to see your style in it. Uh, eventually, yes. I'm practicing. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but I am. I'm practicing so that I can be bad at it. Does that make sense? Because I, I don't stealth. I don't stealth. I punch people and hit them with things, like axes and stuff. But you can't do that in that game. Like, in Dishonored, I can go around cutting off people's heads and throwing them into the ocean, and it doesn't matter. But in that game, the AI are really intelligent, and it's really hard. So, I'm trying to get good at it so that I can break it and then play it how I would normally play it. It's just taking- it- there's a big learning curve for me. I've never played Hitman before. This is the first Hitman game I've ever played. So, and like I said, I'm awful at stealth. So, it-, it it's- it's- it's a process. And I'm playing it on my own, so... Uh, which I don't have a lot of time to do, especially because the levels are kind of long. So, I'm doing what I can with it. Find me some truffles. Find me some truffles, pig. You just went and cleared almost all of Colorado. So you can with time and anger. Yeah, uh, there's this guy on YouTube who does, like, kill everyone. And it's nuts. <laughs> And I thought, like, the videos were super funny. But then I played the game, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Like, how did he do this? It's crazy. You've never seen any of the movies? I haven't either. And this is the only second one you've played? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not my strong suit, so... And I don't have a lot of time to play it just on my own. There's just, there's so many good games coming out, and I'm trying to, like, play everything, and it's, it's hard. It's hard to sit there and enjoy playing something, because once you start doing YouTube videos, it's like, anytime you're playing something for fun, your immediate, like, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, ah, oh, I could be recording this or streaming it. This is a waste of time kind of thing. And I know I shouldn't think like that, but it's just it's hard not to because like I said this is kind of a business now for me so it's hard to view playing video games as leisure time anymore but anyway that's why it was kind of nice the last week to just play Stardew Valley by myself and just sort of like be zen about it just enjoy it. I forgot to put the milk in there. Come on, super fast. Let's go. I can't stand, like, walking slowly anymore. Ever since coffee. <laughs> coffee comes in handy in the mines a lot. So if you're having trouble, it's really great. Because you move so much faster. Alright, let's go get some stuff. 
you think about that all the time, Andy. Like, you see what I mean? You know in your mind that you shouldn't be like that. But it's just, like, you sit down to play a game and you're like, I should record this or I should stream this or whatever. It gets just, you just, that's just how you think. I imagine it would be the same if you were an artist. Like, if you did commissions and you just wanted to, like, do art for yourself, you should, you would probably think the same way. I don't know. I'm not an artist, so I can't say that for sure. All right. No, we don't need this. What? Look at this. What? We're buying this. Okay. <laughs> I have to buy that. Uh, okay, so we need a ton of this. Um, what do I want to grow? A little bit of everything, I guess. Like usual. I like growing garlic because it doesn't take that long. It only takes a couple days. A couple of these. Some potatoes. Cauliflower. Beans. Bunch of parsnips. Alright. So we bought some stuff. Let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to put up this wallpaper. Is that Freeze who did full clears? No, his name's Big Mooney. I think he's really funny. <laughs> like, he's awesome. Okay. So, let's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm leaving that there. Can I put that in Sam's little corner? Because I feel like that's a Sam wallpaper. I wonder if I can do that. Sam. I found the perfect wallpaper for you. Can I not remove it now? Oh man. Well, it's gonna stay there then. Richard Dang is here, someone said, right? I'm sorry if I missed you. Uh, do you have a Discord? I don't have a Discord set up for the channel. I have, I mean, I have a Discord, but it's, like, for collabs and stuff. Like, Kat and I use Discord when we record, but it's not, like, a channel thing at this point. All right, let's see if I can get this to actually work. Good. Okay. think I'll put those back just to make sure that I get the spacing correct there because if I don't do that then I'll probably get the spacing wrong you can't use discord why is that you never comment in the YouTube streams for fear of not being heard, so having you answer my comment was really flattering. Oh, I, I try to answer them when I can. Um, there's a lot of them now, especially with uh, Story of Seasons. And sometimes, like, I don't... Sometimes I don't have anything to say, so... You know what I mean? Like, if somebody asks a question and somebody else answers it, like, you know what I mean? So, okay. I do try to answer them. It's just if I spent the whole day answering them, I would get nothing done. It's just truth. Are you going to, like... Thank you. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so many things to plant. I'm just sort of planting all over the place. Because, I mean, crops, these kinds of crops aren't really where I'm making my money anyway, so. It's all about the coffee and the pale ale. I think Pam is like keeping me in business because I'm sure she's the one who's like actually buying all the pale ale. So, thanks Pam. Thanks to your addiction, I can keep farming. Okay, I think everything is good. You're on too many Discord servers. I'm not on that many, to be honest. Oh, you're shy, but everyone's friendly. I hope so. You guys better be friendly. I don't want to have to beat you up. Discord won't recognize your mic? Uh, did you try um, messaging them? Because they might be able to help you fix that. I haven't heard of anybody having that problem <laughs> before. I don't know if I'm nice. I'm probably the meanest person in this chat, to be honest. That always kind of makes me laugh when people, like, um, if I say something really sarcastically, but I'm, I'm not serious, and it comes off as being mean and people are like say something about it in the comments i'm like it's i'm not i'm j i'm joking guys like someone got offended because i called poplio a derp pokemon and i was like i love poplio it's just endearing it's a little derpy seal Uh, Squeeze Pixel says, I considered making my own Discord server for my blog, but my community my community is too small, so it would it would be an empty server. I don't know, people here might join your Discord server. Alright, we'll just get this going. And I'll just kinda like um harvest a little bit of it now and then. Nico Batman says, that is false, it's me. That's true, you're meaner than I am. We've established this many times. <laughs> okay, so see, like, right now, I have 34 things of coffee that I can ship. So, you can make several thousand a day just from coffee. Which is pretty nice. I'm trying to keep the cheese so that I can age it. Uh, so I have a little bit saved up here. That's why I've been kind of hoarding it. Because you get more money for it, obviously, if it's aged. So. Probably have to build a bunch more of these kegs, though. For uh, wine and stuff. Alright. So we'll sell this coffee. And I should shut this door so the animals don't get angry. Boop. Look, more coffee. <laughs> I've just been leaving the coffee beans in my bag. For that reason. <laughs> Not mean, just sassy. That should be my new tagline. Not mean, just sassy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Speaking of that, I, I've i been going back and going through Pokemon to get clips for a montage, like a best of, like I did with Shantae for Pokemon, because there's a lot of good ones. And I, so I had to go back through like the first couple episodes because um, I was stupid and wasn't cutting them as I edited them. I've started doing that now. It's so much easier. Um, but I... <laughs> so I was, like, kind of uh, scrubbing through the footage from the first few episodes. And I was like, oh my gosh. This whole playthrough is just 
sass more so than usual it's just like dry dry sarcasm but i think it's gonna be good i'll probably get i think i have enough uh footage for at least two or three best of montages for pokemon so i'm excited about that and i'm gonna do some for story of seasons as well i've been preparing for that this time I would have liked to have done it for the original series, but there are too many episodes to, you know, go through all of them and and <laughs> try to find that now. So I'm trying to be preemptive. Did you see the announcement about the Disney afternoon games hd collection no what is that explain speaking of disney if you guys um are looking for something to watch if you like steven universe i would recommend trying out star versus the forces of evil i was surprised that i liked as much as i did there's a few episodes that i'm like eh about but for the most part overall i think it's actually pretty good it the first season is on hulu so there's that kita sass gaming yeah I would love to do that, but then you'd have a bunch of people in the comments going, Dehe, key to ass gaming. Because, you know, we're five in the comments. We really are, though. They're going to release a redone HD collection of DuckTales, DuckTales 2, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Chippendale... Rescue Rangers 2, Darkwing Duck, and Tailspin games. Wow, that's awesome. I can't say that I grew up with any of those games. Um, I know a lot of people, like, actually, people have requested that I do DuckTales, which was interesting. Um, I guess because of Shantae, because they're kind of similar in gameplay style. Um, but I've never played it before. I don't even know if we have the NES version. I don't think that we do. We don't have a lot of NES games. NES was before my time, so that's not, I mean, I like collecting for it, but that's not my main focus when we're out. I try to get um, N64 and uh, PS1 stuff, PS2 as well, but that's more my childhood. Get back here! Freaking sheep. Why you gotta be like that? And you two need to find some truffles, dang it. Earn your keep, jeez. Get out here and find some truffles. Does there have to be grass for them to find truffles, or do they? are they gonna find them anyway? I don't know. Don't snort at me. Find some truffles. The crappy thing is, though, um, it's really hard to find PS1 games and N64 games. In the wild, as they say. Like, in thrift stores and stuff. Even yard sales. It's like, that's just not what you see. I got lucky one time. No, twice with N64. I got a backup system and like not even any real good games or anything. There was only a couple games that came with it and they weren't very good. Um, except for, I think Wave Race 64 might have been in there. I don't remember. But that was one that I didn't have. Um, and then like two years before that, I think, maybe even three. There was a yard sale that we went to and we got a bunch of N64 games, which was really cool. Because there were several that I didn't have, like Bomberman 64, Bomberman 64 2, um, Banjo-Kazooie, maybe? Yeah, I think, I think the first Banjo-Kazooie was in there. Which I still haven't played. I need to play that. 
because I love Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, and I have never played that. I never had that game growing up. I think I wanted it, but I, I don't think I ever got it. I think it was just one of those games I asked for but didn't get. So I really need to play that. DJM says, if it helps, I was born the year of the N64 but couldn't play it because the birth timing. You mean you were born the year that it came out? I don't even know what year that was. I got the N64 later in its life. I didn't get it when it first came out. I got the... It was some kind of bundle. I don't know. It might have been the action bundle. I don't know what it was. But it came with the purple atomic controller and it came with the gray controller. And it came in this big box. And it might have come with one other thing, but I don't remember. But that was, like, when it was way down in price. I mean, it was... It was not right when it came out. You were two or three when the GameCube came out? Wow. Some of you guys are little baboos. The GameCube was that console. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but like it was the console I didn't have. So I was so enraptured by it. My cousin had it and I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. I love the little tiny discs. I thought they were amazing and I really wanted one. But I never got one. Because I had a PS2 by that point, I think. Yeah. I think my grandparents bought me a PS2 to replace my PS1. Because my mom said it was stolen. But I don't think that it was stolen. Um, so anyway, they... I was sad because I lost a bunch of my PS1 games. Um, like Gex and my Crash games, my Spyro games... Uh, I had Spice World, which I liked for some reason as a kid. Bomberman, stuff like that. Like, I lost all of them. So they got me a PS2, and they replaced uh, Spyro and Crash for me. So I do still have those, at least. Um, what do we want to do? I want you guys to find a truffle. Find oh, guys! Good job, Piggy! Guys, this is gonna happen. Thank you, Piggies! This is gonna happen. We need coffee. This is gonna happen. To the community center! Your first console was a Genesis? Mine too. It was my dad's, but he gave it to me when I was really little. Like, I was... I remember growing up holding a controller basically because of the genesis because i played sonic and other weird games that i had <laughs> that probably no one's ever heard of but i loved my genesis so much but i was very young when i was playing it all right are you guys ready we got some cake she's like oh shit son the first system you played was the Game Boy Advance aww we believed in you, pig. We believed in you succeeded. The Junimos have returned to the spirit world. Okay, so this is the completed community center if you guys wanted to see it. You can't really do anything in here, but the point is we did it. Piggy succeeded. It's exciting. We should have gotten friendship with people, which it looks like we did. 
I should actually... I should befriend these people because there's an achievement for that. Also, this has to be wrong. Ship 15 of each crop. I obviously have done this. I don't know why it didn't... And I definitely record... I definitely did uh, 10 help wanted requests. So I don't know why I don't have some of these. But uh, five heart friendship with four people. We could do that. Because we already have Sam. And Pam would be easy to befriend if we wanted to. Krobus would be easy to befriend. I don't know what Marnie likes. But... Anyway. So the community center is done. So we should see the cutscene tomorrow, I think. Who's excited? Raise your hand. You could never beat the Sonic games back then? Dude, I couldn't either. <laughs> they were way too hard. I also had a Sega Game Gear, which, if you don't know what that is, it was like a portable, kind of like competing with the Game Boy Color. Um, or not the Game Boy Color, the original Game Boy. And it was a beast and so heavy, and you couldn't see the screen very well. It was so bad. And I got my Game Boy Color, and I was like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> because my freaking Game Gear was just not very good. All right, let's make that oil. Awkwardly raises hand, raises both hands and waves them around. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that that is done. No. So, Grandpa should be happy then. Um, tomorrow, after we see the cutscene, maybe the next day, I'll do the farm check again. Because he should be happy with that. Should be. But, you know, he's Grandpa. He's hard to please. He is a sassy old man. Okay, so I'm going to put the cake in the fridge. And I'm going to grab... I don't know, I don't really... guess I'll grab this. I'm not going to take too much, but I want to get the sword today as well. So we're going to do that. So we'll take this one prismatic shard... And we're going to sell some coffee. Not all of it, though. I want to keep some. All right. To the bus stop. When I was nine, I was jealous of my gran because she had Sonic on her phone while my mom just had Snake. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The sassiest grandpa. Well, it is called Sassiest Farm, so... I should be able to get four after the community center because that gives you two points completing it. Um, and I know we were close to getting the four candles, so I think that'll push us over. So, you know what, Worms? I don't have my hoe. I left my hoe at home, okay? Ooh, coconuts. Grab them. Did you ever play Metal Gear Solid on the PS1? I did not. I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game ever, actually. I have some of them, though. I didn't have a lot of games for the PS1, and most of them were, like, very kid-friendly. Uh, I never had Resident Evil. I was never exposed to it. I was never exposed to Final Fantasy until... Uh, I don't know, until I had my PS2, and that was because my friend liked it, but again, I never actually played it myself. Um... And a lot of the games that were bought for me were bought by my grandparents, so they weren't, like, they would not have gotten me Resident Evil if they would have looked at it, you know what I mean? So, and I didn't even really know it existed. The thing! Oh, see you later, Death Row. Have a nice sleep. The prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. The power is tremendous. You've found the galaxy sword. 
Heck yes, look at my purple sword. Be jealous. Ha! <laughs> Squishy Pixels, message that to me. Whisper that to me so I don't forget it. I want to add that to the quotes. Alright, so let's use this bad boy. Purple attacks purple. Purple attacking purple. Oh my gosh, so much nicer. Best sword ever, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I mind so much looking for that stupid shard that I have so much ore in my in my thing in my storage suck it suck it purple bitches all right get wrecked scrubs so much nicer you broke your metal gear solid one because you could never beat gray fox uh, I kind of know who that is. I think maybe. I really don't. I, I probably have seen what that person looks like. I, I really don't know anything about Metal Gear Solid. Like the story. I know that in the one game you play the one guy and he's running around naked. Like I know that much about it. <laughs> They got pretty trippy in a good way. I'd probably have fun playing them. I just, I don't know, some games you just weren't, you're not, like you just weren't exposed to them growing up. So it's just like, I haven't played it. I'm kind of sad about that with Banjo-Kazooie though because I feel like I would have loved that as a kid because of how much I loved Crash and Spyro. Oh good, a diamond for grandpa. because he's apparently will accept nothing less. This sword is so nice. Get away, you mummy. Oh, I'm not really like trying to get anything. I just figured I would show off the sword since we finally got it. Like, after I got all the iridium that I pretty much needed. Oh, speaking of, I made the iridium band, which I highly recommend that you do. If you're going into the skull mine, you need, I think, one... Here, I'll just look it up. Uh, bleh. You need five iridium bars, 50 solar essence, and 50 void essence, but it is very worth it. Because it glows, it attracts items, and it increases your attack damage by 10%. So you don't need a glow ring, you don't need a magnet ring when you're wearing it. So I got that, and then I'm also using the vampire ring, which you get for killing, I think it's 250 bats, something like that. You get that from the Adventurer's Guild. And it gives you a little bit of health every time you kill a monster, which is also good. Wrecked. Also, I forgot to tell you... Um, I... All my skills are upgraded now. So I, oh, look at me go. So I got my combat up and I decided to go with Desperado, uh, which are critical strikes are deadly. So, yeah, that's just the one that seemed to work for me. Well, this is a conundrum. Did you find what you were looking for? What exactly are you looking for with the USB hub? Well, I have one down there. I have my phone plugged into it. Is... Oh. Um. Then there isn't one in there? No, the one that was in there, but I threw it out because it sucked. Oh. Well, you might have to buy one then. Alright, I'm out. 
You left your room for five minutes and your dog pushed the door open and ate all your food. Oh my gosh, I'd be so angry. It's bad enough that my dog follows me around when I have food. If he ate it, I would freak out. Awkward mummies creating awkward situations. A moment of silence for Andy's food. Hey, Arctic Snow. I wasn't exposed to Zelda as a kid. Wow. I, Zelda, I was exposed to, but uh, my friend's dad had Ocarina of Time. And I thought it looked amazing, and I really wanted to play it. But we weren't allowed to play it, because that was, like, his game. So, he was kind of weird. But, um... I really wanted to play that, so I think I asked for it. I don't know for sure, but I think I asked my grandparents for it. Well, I got Majora's Mask, and that was not the same thing. So, I was terrified of Majora's Mask. Like, I didn't like to play it if I was by myself. I would want my cousin to be there with me. And, uh, <laughs> so I didn't really, um, play Ocarina of Time until it came out for the 3DS. And then I played through it and did all the side quests. I think I 100%ed it, actually. I love Ocarina of Time now. Like, that's such a cliche thing to be like, oh, Ocarina of Time's my favorite Zelda. But it's not even a nostalgia thing. Like, it's just... I really like the game. And I didn't experience it when it first came out. So... I will say, though, that I really, really liked um, Link Between Worlds as well. So... That's up there. With my favorite Zeldas. I prefer playing on the handheld myself, but... You did interrupt the stream, Eco Batman. Get out. Stingy dad dude, though. Like, it's Zelda. He was probably afraid that we would save over his save, which... I can kind of understand, but, like, then finish the game and then let us play. You know what I mean? Because we both... So, like, basically, we would just get to watch. So it looked really cool, and I really wanted to try it. But... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna quickly uh, set this video to live. Just give me a second. I gotta add my end screens first. Also, we hit 900,000 views on YouTube, so... Have a party in the chat for that, because that is freaking amazing. We are less than 100,000 views away from a million views, which is crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. And, I mean, that's all you guys watching, and that's that's you. Because I didn't watch my own videos 100,000 times. Actually, you can get in trouble if you watch your own videos too much, because then YouTube is like, you're making money for yourself <laughs> but yeah that's that's insane that we are almost at a million views like i it, that's just really hard for me to comprehend so holy shit thank you guys for that uh we're also really close to eight thousand subs which is equally crazy um <laughs> like there's there's no other way to put it Sorry, I know I'm, like, off-center from my mic. I'm just trying to get this ready. I'll have to add the description later. Because I want to I wanna make sure that people can see it, so. All right. Okay, so the video should be live now, so 
after the stream. If you guys want to watch, you can. I also put two Pokemon episodes up today because I was able to get them edited last night. Um, I'm trying to get Pokemon done this month if possible because I really want to like move on to some other things, some other projects. And that game came out like in November and I feel like I should really be done with that um, by now. So hopefully we will. But yeah, we're pushing 8,000 subs, which is cool. What happened? I was making my video go live. So I had to I had to pause for a second. <laughs> Look at all the emotes. There's some butts in the <laughs> in the chat. There's some dinosaurs in the chat. Lots of fun stuff going on in the chat. Okay, good. Stray scenes went live. Awesome, thanks. Thank you, Andy. Jojamar doesn't exist anymore. Well, it's not going to here in a minute. Hey, little Babu. You just gonna sleep? I think my kid's dead, guys. <laughs> she doesn't move. The room where it happened. Hi. Okay. Oh, cave carrots? Oh yeah, I have some. Okay, I'll give you a cave carrot. I forgot that that was a quest. That's great though, we can get her friendship up. Good job you killed your child. Oh yeah, that is what happened. Um, we just hit 900,000 views on YouTube and uh, we're really close to 8,000 subs. So, we're having a little party in the chat. Okay, so... Packages have been appearing in people's houses. Right. Yeah, I totally did that. I definitely did that. Oh no, I left the door open. I hope they're not too angry. Also, I love how they throw the truffles out there. They're like, yeah, go get it. Is that me? Tom, Tom Brain? I don't know. I can't really tell like what's on his head. Is it a chicken? Kind of looks like a chicken. It's hard for me to see. You guys need to get away from from the, the fence here. Look at all these truffles. Jeez, piggy. No, you can't get out. I'm sorry, you can't get out. Here we go. Thanks, pigs. And they're already um, iridium quality. So that's pretty great because they sell for a lot. I don't know if truffle oil sells for more. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. But let's, uh, well, let's get all the coffee first. <laughs> it's his brain. <laughs> uh, I can't say that I'm Tom Fox's brain. I can't back that up. Cat is almost at 8,500 subscribers, which is really awesome too. So, if you haven't subscribed to her, you totally should. We recorded some fun collab stuff yesterday, since we were both stuck inside because of the snow. So, that'll be appearing eventually. I wanna finish the game before I start posting the videos. Because it's, it's kind of hard to be consistent with collabs because everybody's on a different schedule and has different um, obligations and stuff. So, all right. So we got that. 
We need to give Grandpa a diamond. You bought $140 worth of merch, Andy? Wow. That's awesome. What did you get? Like, t-shirts or... Stop stealing our snow, you East Coast people. Hey, I don't want it. Come take it back. I don't want your snow. I hate snow. It's too cold. I would be happy never seeing snow again. You can have all of it. Okay, so we need to break open these Omni Geos. Can I just go to the community center and have that thing, that cutscene take place? I don't remember if something has to happen first. Hmm. So much coffee. Uh, I also need to donate that to the museum since we have an extra one. Alright, so we're going to sell the truffle, sell the honey, sell some coffee, and drink some coffee. You got a vintage Glamour Girl vase, two fans, her new book, a signed tour poster, a signed photo, and something else that you can't remember. Wow! Sounds like a successful time. Okay, so it just happens. Marnie is, like, just having a blast. Who else is hyped for St. Patrick's Day? Um, I don't really do anything on St. Patrick's Day, even though I'm Irish, so... Iridium truffle sell for uh, twelve fifty. Truffle oil with artisan sells for fourteen ninety one. Thank you, Errant Raccoon. So it is better to to make it truffle oil if you have the artisan thing. It's raining coffee, all the beans. All right, go get some food, pineapple. You didn't know the poster was signed till you got home. Awesome. Twitch logged you out? Wow. You have done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Thanks, Lewis. You did nothing. And you're the mayor. Clearly all Irish people, it's scientific fact, drink. Well, I'm Irish and I don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day and I also don't drink at all. So, yay, achievement unlocked. How do, I don't understand how that got me an achievement on Steam because I should already have that achievement. I don't think that it recorded my achievements when I played the first time, so that's kind of annoying. You saved up all your cash from housekeeping for like a month and never touched it. Wow. Richard Dang says, I don't drink and I'm part Irish. Yeah, I think it's just a stereotype. Here comes Morris. Frog face. Zills have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? In your butt. You didn't know that I was Irish? Oh, yeah. I'm very Irish. Actually. I think Irish and German? I don't know. My mom lies about things, so I don't know. She said we're Russian. And... Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe she is. I don't know. <clears throat> I just know that my dad's side is Irish. So. All my customers here. This isn't good. Pierre. How does it feel? Alright. You guys know what we're going to pick for this one. We're gonna have an old-fashioned brawl. This means nothing. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me begging for forgiveness. You'll see.
No, not this time, Morris. I see it's time we settle this once and for all. Here we go. Oh, and how do you propose we do that? <laughs> this is like my favorite thing. Primitive. If you're too scared to fight me, then bring one of your coworkers, or I'll or I'll Georgia employ such cowards. I can't do a French accent. I'm sorry. Insult me all you like, but don't you dare slander the good name of Georgia. Okay. What is Joja doing for him? For him to be that loyal to them? Is he like the founder of Joja or? I love how his wife's like, Pierre, please. You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. I love this. And the way you throw punches is just like Joja. Quantity over quality. <laughs> He's like, yeah, get him. Glasses geek throwdown. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, he went through the freaking roof. Good lord, Pierre. He just put on sunglasses. Did he do that before? Did he do that before? Parkachu says, oh my god, George. Morris and his Jojamart cronies were never heard from again. Yet, did Pierre kill him? Did did his like is he one punch man? Like did he just kill him? Pargachu, thank you for the follow. Why did that not There we go. There it is. Well that happened. What a great time that you joined us. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing in this game. You're part French and you find my accent offensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're kidding. French accent is hard to do. Same with Australian. I need to get better and like practice, but basically my French accent is just coming from Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Dude, I got stuck in this menu the other day, and I was really, really worried that I was going to have to restart the day. Kind of like I am now. It's not placing it. There we go. Jeez. Robin was gaping over by the back wall. Pierre punched him so hard he saw the curvature of the earth. All right, we need to find Lewis so he can get his lube. I mean, truffle oil. You're horrible at any accent. Hey, put it back down. I think what's the, the hardest thing for me is when I have to switch. Like, if I have to switch between... Um my normal or like American or something and then switch to something else that can be difficult like some people are like oh Veronica's voice changed in Story of Seasons I'm like well sh sometimes it's hard to remember the exact voice that I give for like 25 different characters <laughs> and switching between them I think is the, the really difficult part or if a character disappears for a couple episodes and I and I don't see them, then it's kind of hard. And sometimes it takes me a while to kind of get what I think they should sound like. Like, I haven't quite settled on what I want Eluka to sound like. Because sometimes she sounds a little bit like Elise, and then um, other times she doesn't. So I haven't really found, haven't really found a good voice for her yet. Or haven't really settled yet. You're mostly Norwegian. Are there Norwegian stereotypes? I don't know. You're eating chocolate cake. For Australian, you have to keep your mouth tight and keep your the sounds towards the front of your mouth. Well, I think that there's so many different, Austra like, no two Australian people sound the same to me. 
I mean, maybe that's just me, but... Oh, the mayor's need, huh? Yeah, you take your dirty truffle oil and get out of here. Um... Okay, so I can give the cave carrot to Marnie at least. Wait, he wants truffle oil and she wants a cave carrot. Should we put this together? I don't want to go there. <laughs> you good man just says, well... Lots of goodies. Jeez. Alright. Get in there. Do I have any other garbage? I do. Just straight up garbage. Cave carrot. Let's put my trophy inside. Where do I want to put this? Right there, I guess. No. Put it. Thank you. The cave carrot won't fit. Uh, I'm just a little bit suspicious. I don't trust the two of them anymore, you know? Okay. I am stuck. Guess we'll go this way now. In Ireland, everyone is either short or ginger. You're 4'11"? Really? You are small. I just found out that Kat is only 5'2". Because we were, um... When we were recording, she said she was small. And I was like, I don't think so. And she's like, oh, I'm only 5'2". I was like, no, you're not. She looks tall. In her videos, doesn't she? Wait, something's happening. What's happening? She, like, ran over. She's like, oh my god, thank you for that oil. <gasps> Helps me out. Oh, okay. There, put it on the floor. Please don't put it in your butt. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. Mm-hmm. That was a cutscene for that? I mean... That's fine. It's just sort of random. How many hearts do you have? Oh good, she has four. Does Pam like hops? Or does she... Do you have to make it into pale ale for her to like it? Because I want to try to get the five hearts with four people. Krobus? Oh, I don't have any... Well, I do have void mayonnaise. I guess I could give him that. I think he likes that, so I'll go do that. Why did Keith have to confirm it? <laughs> you, you've given up Facebook for Lent. It's not really hard, but still having the app on my phone. Why can't get rid of? Why can't I get rid of apps? Well, can't you just get rid of the app? One of the things that I've read about. Uh, either starting better habits or getting rid of bad habits. I mean, not that I'm saying that this is a bad habit, but like, it's kind of applicable. Is to make it slightly more difficult to do or slightly easier to do. So like, if you want to start working out, put your uh, sneakers or your workout clothes like right beside your bed. So that when you get up, they're right there and it's really easy to just grab them. Um, so like, if you're trying to break a bad habit... Then just make it more difficult. Oh wait, there's a sh there's a throwdown going on. A shadow person above ground. This is outrageous. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. Mm -hmm. 
If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never have had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Are we- we're, ha we're gonna have another fight right now? Like, we just had a fight. What is going on? Hey, I'm just coming down the ladder. Hey. Sirs? Hey. Stop. Let me at him. He's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. <laughs> This is the best stream ever. Can I just say? Oh, shit. He just set him on fire. <gasps> the elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. Two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. They're like... He's like their dad. <laughs> Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. Krobus? And I'm truly sorry about the past, dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good, I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. Okay. <laughs> wow. I never got that before. I mean, that makes sense because I never got the um dwarven translate like the scrolls to get the text. So Krobus, love me. Krobus. Grobus. Grobus. Man, that'd be nice. But that's a lot of money. Sparkles fix everything? <laughs> Pretty much. This has been just a showdown stream, hasn't it? Everybody's fighting. And I'm just here trash picking. Flower. I'm too lazy to go in there to get that one. That shrimpy line was perfect after the height conversation. <laughs> you have to get friendship to plus one plus with each of them to finish the community center. So finishing the community center did- oh, I see, I see. Gotcha. Okay, grandpa, we need to have a conversation. Place the diamond on Grandpa's shrine. So does that happen tomorrow then? Because nothing happened. I'm assuming it'll happen tomorrow. Sonic 06 equals best game. Sarcastic voice. I have thankfully never played Sonic 06. I do not have a desire to do so. If you can imagine why. I need to start highlighting some of these uh, things that happen on stream and put them on YouTube. I really should do that. Because <laughs> sometimes great things happen. Like that. Oh, sell the coffee. Okay. So. Put the cheese in there.
If you don't like snow, don't live in Minnesota. I don't think I'm going to live in Minnesota. I want to live someplace warm. <laughs> the first spring in year three. Yeah, uh, I already got the first evaluation because we uh, had the first day of spring. Uh, this is the fifth day of spring in year three, but you can redo it um, by giving him a, a diamond, so. Please, you're so lonely. Here's the recipe for a little treat. Cheese cauli, like cheese cauliflower, okay. Oh, here we go, recipes. <laughs> Salmon dinner. Kale broth, ew. I mean, thanks for the recipe, but Pierre's general store is now open seven days a week, yes. And Lewis gave me spaghetti. I mean, that's a fair trade for giving him some lube. Okay. It's way too cold there for us. That is true. I am a very grumpy person when I'm cold. I went to college near Pittsburgh. Ish. And it was really cold and I was not happy. Ever. <laughs> so I left. And went to a different college. Hi piggies! Piggy piggy piggy! Cow. Come here, cow. Goat. Stop. No. 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 Get. Get. You butthole. Get back here. Get back here. Run away, goat. You didn't even need milk anyway. You went sledding today? You live in Pennsylvania? Oh, so do I. I liked snow a lot when I was younger. But I had a much higher tolerance for cold back then. I don't anymore <laughs> at all. Okay. Did that not work? I gave the offering. Guys, what did I do wrong? Maybe because the candles were still lit. I'll try again. See what happens. So much hops. says the day after you place the diamond so check the shrine. I did, but it didn't do anything. But the candles were still lit. Weren't they? They were still there at least when I put the diamond on, so maybe... I don't know. But look at my garbage. Isn't that nice? No, don't eat it. Good lord, don't eat it. I'll save that void egg for Krobus, because we gotta become bros with him. Hashtag goals. Okay. Oh, coffee's done. It says on the first day or the following season in some cases. Yeah, we got the first evaluation. Dog? Hi, dog. Allie. You wanna stay in here? All right, you can stay in here.
sorry, my dog wanted in, so I had to shut the door. She's giving me the side eye right now. She's like, you're not going to kick me out. Better not kick me out. She didn't like the snow at first. She didn't really know what to do with it. Doesn't help that they're all very small dogs, so they kind of get lost in it. But she doesn't seem to mind as much. She doesn't like being cold, but she'll go out in it now. Alright, so some of these dishes require truffle oil. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can make. Or is that not- oh, that's a different kind of oil. I'd have to actually buy oil. I don't think you can get just- I don't think you can make regular oil by itself. Oh. Well, then I'm just gonna sell it. Hmm. I'll put another diamond on there and see if I can get it to work. You went camping in negative 20 degree weather or was it negative 30? Well, I can't help it if you make poor decisions. Do I have any... Hmm. I don't know what to give Marnie as a gift. Oh, there's another- there's more truffles! Goodness! All the truffles! I mean, I'm not gonna eat it. You can make oil with corn, sunflowers, or sunflower seeds in the oil make- Really? I didn't know that! I'm sure you had fun, Arctic Snail. I was just teasing you. I would not have had fun. I would have been completely miserable the whole time. Marnie likes diamonds. How about the easiest thing? Farmer's lunch, pink cake, pumpkin pie. Like the cheapest thing. Sunflowers take the least amount of time to become oil. Sunflower seeds the longest. Cool. Thanks. There you go, Krobus. Alright, four hearts with him and Marnie. Beef... It was when you were in Boy Scouts? Oh, wow. Candy Rates Fiction says, I forgot the best part of the show. So during the second act, one of the male burlesque performers came out and he was undressed. And he undressed, yada yada, took off his cape and turned his back to us to reveal a bedazzled ass crack. Oh my god. I can't say I've ever seen that. Soggy newspaper, that's exactly what I wanted. He's just breathing heavily. God, he's creepy. Diamonds are a girl's best friend? Not mine. There are a lot of things that I would rather have than diamonds. The only thing that mattered to me was my wedding ring. That's really my wedding ring and my engagement ring. That's really all I cared about in terms of like diamonds. And even still, I have black diamonds. White diamonds are too mainstream. Nah. 
No. Okay. I love seeing all the purple stars. <laughs> Getting great quality stuff. Put one of those in there. Get these goodies, put that in there. That, that, that. Okay. Imagine getting a Harvest Moon type game where you can kill and eat animals. Um. <gasps> wow, Squishy. Squishy Pixel's just going there. I think as a kid, I would have been really horrified by that. Now, it would be somewhat funny. It depends on how realistic it is. If it really, like, if you have to actually, like, cut them and skin them, then that would be not the best thing ever. That would be a little bit scary. But... Okay, so I'm gonna go see the wizard. I don't know if I don't know how to trigger this last like quest because I, I did hear that there is a quest post game or like post community center which to me is kind of like when you sort of quote unquote finish the game even though you technically never do yeah. garbage 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 I will take this though I think I'm just gonna put one of those in my greenhouse because I don't think I shipped that in my collections. I think that's I think that's rhubarb, and I think that might be fiddlehead fern. That's truffle oil. So we're gonna ship that. Um. One of the things is rhubarb, and I think one's fiddlehead fern, and I think the other one might be ancient fruit or something. Maybe not ancient fruit. The other one. Hey, wizard, give me a quest, dude. You believe the townsfolk are afraid of you? Well, don't be so creepy then. Well, how many hearts do we have to have before I can go in there? We've got three. What do you like, dude? I think he likes Void Essence, doesn't he? Have you ever heard of a game called Fable? Oh my god, I love Fable. Pineapple. Fable is like the shit. I played the heck out of that game on the original Xbox before Final Chapters was out or anything. I loved it. Then Fable 2 came around and I was like, this is kind of disappointing. And Fable 3, I didn't really like either. I didn't connect with them the way that I did the first one. So, but I loved the first one, still do. I have the anniversary edition or whatever it's called, the updated one. So... Sad that Lionhead Studios doesn't exist anymore. Sacrifice livestock for either the hardest harvest goddess or Desi. <gasps> wow. I mean, why don't you guys just <gasps> message X Seed and be like, hey. Well, I guess it would be marvelous, wouldn't it? Because XC just does localization. Just, like, message them and be like, Hey, I got this great idea for the next Three of Seasons game. You will never hear back, probably. Because <laughs> they'd be like, Oh, dear God. Go to the railroad to trigger the wizard's quest. Thank you! Thank you, Errant Raccoon. I'm hoping that it's not a specific day or time. Because I wanted to get started on that. Because I think once we finish that, then we'll move on to a different game. 
for streaming. Because we played Stardew a lot. And I love it, but... All good things must come to an end. Here we go. What are you doing up here, weirdo? I've been waiting for you. That's odd. Have I ever told you I used to be married? No. I don't want to take that position. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. Was she real, or are you just... My wife and I were together for many years until... Until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green. Began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. Oh, his wife is the witch? That's his wife. The one that makes the void eggs. That's a thing. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. Her feet? Is that her feet under it? Is this like a Wizard of Oz reference? But now it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. Are you a squid? Or are you a kid? I would do this myself, but I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. Okay. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. I don't really want to talk about your magic ink because I already had the truffle oil conversation with Mayor Lewis. There she goes. Hey, ma'am, Elphaba, come back. So that's a thing that happened. Um, guess we'll go talk to Kroby. See what's up. Do you think it's more a Baba Yaga reference, as in a house with chicken feet? Hey, John Monroe. You always chose the evil options. Um, I think, well, my cousin and I would play together, and I think we did, like, a good version, and then I think we also did it, like, an evil version, so... That game was awesome and really underrated, like... I mean, people were disappointed because it was apparently supposed to, like, it delivered on some of its promises, but I didn't have any expectations for it, so I loved it. What's that? You're looking for a dark talisman. Hmm, now that you mention it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. Tunnel? Things started heating up in there, so I left in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though, so I'll open it back up for you. Just be careful, okay? What? Oh, God. What did he shoot? Did he shoot that out of his area? Whoa! Let's go. I'm gonna die. What is this? <gasps> no, not these things. No, no, no hate you. No, 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 no. God, no. No. I'm going to kill you all. This is one of the worst noises in this game. I hate it. No, you freaking run. Murder you. So this is a thing that's happening. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. As usual. Oh, screw you guys. Screw you guys. Get back here. Your thing finally showed a video? I don't know what that means. You mean it finally showed that I posted a video on YouTube? Ew, algae soup came out of that thing's butt. These things are quick too. This is really nasty. I don't like being in here. Like, if it were any other enemy, I would not care. But I really don't like these things. Like, I just... I don't like the noise they make. 
grosses me out. I'm gonna have so much algae soup by the time this is over. It is already 10 o'clock too, so I'm gonna have to come back and do this all over again. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm just gonna get the treasure. Suck it. That's a thing. What? You found the dark talisman. It's covered in bug slime. Ew. Ew. Does it not... Is it in my key items? Oh, okay. There it is. It looks like a space invader a little bit. Now you can go to the witch cave. Okay, cool. You guys are so disgusting. Just get out of my life. That's a dead man right there. Alright, I'm just going. Can you catch a fish in here? Like, is there a legendary fish in here? It just seems like this would be the place where a legendary fish would be. So that's a gross thing that I did. Um, I mean, at least we got some soup. Ew. Hey, Marnie. Do you like flowers? I mean, she liked it a little bit, so that's good. Mini donuts, hello! Pineapple says, I actually want to play the Fable Anniversary right now, but I can't because they don't have an Xbox. Oh, that sucks. Now you have so much quality soup to give people. Ew, that'd be gross. Give them algae soup. that hmm I don't have enough time to plant that so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do that Okay. Does money have value in this game? Um, I don't know. A lot of things got nerfed, so it's harder to make money. You can't really do the cranberry exploit or the blueberries anymore, because they all got nerfed. Um, there's a couple things you can buy that are pretty expensive. There's a new house upgrade. There's this scepter thing that lets you teleport back to your house no matter where you are. That's like two million. Um, there's new buildings that you can build. Um, like one that turns beets into sugar. It's the wind. It's I think it's just called the mill or something. I have one of those. And you can also make flour from wheat i believe so yeah they i mean they added or he added a a few new things new marriage candidates new farm types i mean you'd have to start over which is what i did for this file but i think it's worth playing through again the bugs don't stop spawning that's gross Put that nastiness in there. Where's Sam? Oh, there he is. Just practicing his kickflip or something. Greetings from the Calico Desert. Oh. Thanks. I don't know if I got that letter from her before. We're not friends or anything. So, what is this? Huh. At least I don't- I don't even know if she's on the friends thing. Huh. Well then. Ooh, 
Ooh, got some parsnips and garlic. lot of garlic and a lot of parsnips over there in the seed maker so that I don't have to buy more from Lewis. I keep forgetting to shut the animal thing in the barn, but oh well. As long as it doesn't rain, I think we'll be okay. Oh, there's a dino egg. Sprinklers are the best thing. I really wish that mainstream Harvest Moon games would incorporate sprinklers because that would just be really nice. Void egg, yeah. Um, you could get void egg before 1.1, but um, it's random unless you buy one from Krobus and put it in the incubator and then get a void chicken. But uh, I had a witch fly over my house and give me the void egg, so. <laughs> but it, it's random. I never got it on my first file. No, don't eat it. Do you have real life farming experience? Um, no. <laughs> Good lord, no. I would hate farming in real life. The closest thing I've ever come to farming of any type is going to horse camp and I hated it. So, it's actually made me dislike horses. I used to really like horses. And not as much as this one girl who I was friends with in elementary school. Oh my god, she loved horses. But. I went to horse camp and it sucked and it was awful and then I didn't like horses anymore. That's pretty much what happened. I hate the smell of like stables and farms and stuff. I have a really sensitive nose and it was, the whole experience was just really negative and uh, for a lot of reasons, but Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I would not enjoy that. I'm more of an indoor kind of person. <laughs> I'll just simulate it. I, Mini Donut says I would only farm crops if I had sprinklers because I felt like the truffles and other animal products were way more profitable and they were less work. That That's true. Oh wait, I wanted to plant. You guys got me another truffle? Jeez. I wanted to plant this. Wait. That was the rare- oh, okay. That was the rare seed, and this is the ancient seed. Huh. Maybe I'll just have them both growing in here. Okay, plant it. Plant it. Plant it. Why won't I plant it? What the heck? It's not planting it. Why is it not planting it? You made my day with that story? No, seriously, it was so bad. Like, I got partnered with this girl and she was a brat and we didn't get along from the start. And she was mean to me. She actually dumped a whole thing of hay on me. So, I didn't like her. Also, it was because I was visiting my dad and I was too young to stay at home by myself when I really wasn't. Like, I should have been able to. I think I might have been 10. I don't remember. Something like that. Um, but, it like, they always put me in this arts and nature camp, which I liked some of the time, but I didn't like hiking. I hate I hated that because... It was in this mosquito-ridden area, and mosquitoes love me for some reason. 
So I always came out just like covered in bites. So I didn't like that part of that camp. The rest of it was pretty okay. Like we went to the beach one day and we'd like obviously draw and stuff. But um, I was allowed to go to this horse camp, but it was more expensive. So I had to like give up my Christmas presents or my birthday presents for it. I don't remember which one. So I like gave up <laughs> my gifts to go to this stupid camp and then it was awful. And we only rode horses because I thought we would be riding horses the whole time. We only rode horses for a half an hour of a full day camp. The rest of it was taking care of the horses. So it was almost like the camp was basically just so that they could get people to muck out stalls for them. And like feed the horses and stuff. So I kind of felt like this isn't really what I wanted to do. I really just wanted to learn how to ride horses. And that's not what the camp was at all. And then they made you show the horses... Uh, and compete and like there were other girls who went to that camp like every year so we lost every single time which was great and also it was just well like I said I didn't have any friends my partner was a jerk so it was a really bad time all around and it made me dislike horses <laughs> so there you go And that's why Kita doesn't like horses and hated horse camp. So. So horse camp. Yeah, I mean, like, I... If I would have gone into it knowing that that's more what it was going to be about, maybe I wouldn't have been so disappointed. But, like, it just really felt like the camp was only there so that other people could take care of... The horses being under the guise of, oh, learn about horses, when really we just want you to wipe their asses and muck out their stalls. So, anyway, this is me being super salty about something that happened when I was a young child so that's not even relevant anymore. I know it's not the horse's fault, but I just, like, I was really disillusioned by it, which maybe was the point. I mean, you know, it's like, well, now you know that you don't want to actually have a horse. So I did learn that, at least. <laughs> Can I make oil from garlic? I don't know if that was one of the things that you said. I don't remember. Put that in there. Okay. So I gotta give that to Krobus then. The horses were in on it. It's fine to hate them. They probably were, little bastards. <laughs> With an experience like that, it's pretty understandable. I love farms and horses in a country and I'm a country boy at heart, even though I never leave home when I'm at the city. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, to each his own. I think it's just, like... I I just have really strong associations. So... I've always been more of an indoor person. Alright, let's go to the shrine and see what's up. Or whatever it is. It's, whoa! Um... That's a thing. Indie Rates Fiction says, My parents wouldn't let me go to this one camp my elementary school did every year, and it turns out one of the counselors was molesting kids, and no one knew until, like, years later in high school. Good lord, Andy. That- I will say the horses never molested me, so... This is a thing. Ah, human! You want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. Okay. Goblin problem. There's a goblin blocking the path to the witch's hut. There must be some way to get him to move. Yes, yeah, stab him! I mean, I have a sword. Mm. Mm. Get out of the way. Chat, what do I do?
Uh, this came out in the update too. Can I go like over to the side? Is there anything? Nope. <laughs> That's a very out of context quote. You have to give him void mayonnaise. Oh, the guy? The goblin? Because I can do that. Yeah, any rates fiction. Holy crap, man. It's a it's the long con. The horses set up a whole camp with some humans just to get their asses wiped. Dude, that was something you had to do. No joke. For the show thing. When they taught us how to, like, show the horses. Which was, like, this big competition thing. And again, I hated it because everybody else had been there. They knew what they were doing. And we didn't. So we just lost every single time. And so then I felt like crap on top of it. Say no to horse camp. That's my motto. Alright. Void mayonnaise. I have that. Actually. I have lots of that, actually. I also have regular mayonnaise, if you prefer the non-dead kind. That sounds like a pretty sneaky con and pretty awesome if you're that damn lazy horse. Horses lazy jerks. <laughs> I like the idea of horses, but I would not like to take care of a horse. They're way too much work. So, I mean, in that respect, horse camp did teach me that. That I'm irresponsible and don't want to take care of a horse. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give you a little bribe, dude. Look what I have. Ew, you're just gonna sniff it? That's gross. Bye. Whoa, she just like lives here? This is a thing. Dark shrine of selfishness. Your children will turn into doves and fly away. What? Why would you do that? I mean, I guess if your child is awful, but no, I don't, I like my child. She doesn't do anything. She just lays there. You've been to Camp Crystal Lake. I like the idea of horses. Sounds like some real philosophical stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like kids who think they want a puppy and then they get one and then they don't take care of it and it's sort of like that. I just learned that I didn't want to take care of a horse. Alright, what's this? Dark Shrine of Memory, the statue stares through you? He's got grabby hands. What does he want? Dark Shrine of Night Terrors. The ancient magic seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear on your farm at night. Um, I don't want that. The bone is probably covered in bacteria. You decide not to touch it. What does this one do? Whoever lives here must really like a clean floor. Um, no. She flies around on that broom. It'd probably be a bad idea to stick your tender arm in there. Can I stick someone else's tender arm in there? A spellbook for the rural witch. Oh, that's uh, what I had to grab. <laughs> you found the wizard's lost magic ink. What's this? Oh. What's this? What's this? The Shrine of Illusions. Make an offering of 500G to change your appearance. Cool. I don't want to do that, but still. Oh, he has his house connected to her house? Or is that just... Okay. Because that's kind of weird. What? What's wrong? No, I didn't see her, actually. I saw her house. Oh my god. He is, he is trying to get me to be his wingman. Asking me, like, uh, is she seeing anyone? Like, you know, that goblin dude? 
You can get a divorce with the memory one and they won't remember the marriage or something. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Eco Batman says horses are like kids, better when they belong to other people. Wow. I mean, there was a goblin in there. I'm pretty sure they're having some fun with some mayonnaise. Too late, I already told you. Honestly, all the shrines are super cruel in concept. They are. So what's my reward? A book? A book of summoning? By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. Huh? Uh, you're welcome. I feel like he only sent me in there to get that ink so that I could check up on his wife. So, can I go in here whenever I want now? What? I've already been in there, dude. I'm taking this. Oh, wait. Junimos will harvest crops around the hut for you. Huh. Is this the only thing that I can make? Is this the only magic building? Or... Oh, no. There's more. Warps you to the mountains. Jeez! That's expensive! Warps you to the beach. That one looks cool. Equally expensive. See, there you go. There you go, my dry bread. There's lots of stuff that you can do with all your money. Prevents debris from appearing on your farm. Keeps fences from decaying. Wow, that's cool. I can't afford any of it except this one. But. Which I might do, actually. Because that would be pretty nice. I wonder what the radius is for that. Anita Potter, thank you for the follow. The gold clock is the most expensive thing in Stardew. And Co 206, thank you. Oh my gosh, that is so ridiculously expensive. How would you even have that much money? I mean, that's that's a lot of money. You have to admit. So much money for nothing really good, that's so true. John Mara says, oh my god, laugh as I can't. That is one of my favorite episodes. I love that. When Pearl's like... Earl, Amy, Bob. <laughs> I love it. Nah, moped dude, I'm not my mom. You're almost caught up with Steven Universe. It's pretty great. Except for the Ronaldo episode. They're awful. I'm sorry, I just really hate them. And the Onion episodes. I don't like those either. Alright, here you go. Oh no! Ugh, I hate that. I hate that you can only give them two gifts a week. That's lame. We should be able to give them one gift every day. Have you seen the Star Stardew YouTube channel? They made bank with their character. I have not and I don't know how they did it because that's a lot of money. Although we do have enough to upgrade our house now, so I want to do that. I just think it's a weird thing, like two gifts per week. It makes a lot more sense for like one a day. Because then you don't really have to... I mean, I know you can go in your journal and look at it, but you don't really have to keep track as much. 
Did you finish the story in Pokemon? I did. I finished everything in Pokemon. Uh, I did all the endgame stuff. The only thing that I have left to do is uh, beat the Elite Four for the second time. Everything else is recorded. Which is really funny when people are like, <laughs> in the comments, Oh, teach your Pokemon this move. I'm like, uh... It's not really a thing anymore. It's not really a thing that I can do anymore. Okay. So I'm gonna try putting another diamond over there. I have a ton of them, so... It's not really an issue. random question but does anyone here like dragon ball i have never watched it myself so chat you can answer you get that constantly where people give advice for things you already did in later episodes yeah yeah i basically just sort of um so can i not give him this i don't know why this didn't work I'm irritated that it didn't. Yeah, it's it's better to record ahead so that I can be more consistent. I mean, it's harder to do with something that's like a life sim because sometimes you can be recording for an hour and not get that much footage out of it depending on what happens. But um, with Pokemon, I could just sort of record a bunch of it at once and that's basically what I did. So, yeah, I am finished with it. Oh, I want to see if I can make oil from this garlic. Nope. Well, then I'm going to sell it. Yeah, it's, it's tiring, and by the end of it, I'm just like, I can tell that I'm tired, so. Oh man, I forgot to put that in the mayonnaise maker. It's kind of rough to do for several hours at a time. I think I recorded, I think it was like eight hours the one day, and uh, it was pretty exhausting. So I want to get the house upgrade tomorrow if I have enough materials for it. I think I do, but I gotta check. So are there any more quests uh, that were added, or is that the only one? Holy crap, I made bank today. What did I sell? Oh, look at that. Eight truffle oil. About 12,000. So we should probably buy more pigs. <laughs> That's what that boils down to. Jeez. Uh, Mini Donut says, also on Pokemon, I think it'd be cool to see the ones you catch that aren't in your party at the end of the series. Oh, jeez. Um, I would have to go back through. A lot of the catching I didn't even record because I was playing off screen, so I don't really have a lot of that, unfortunately. I don't know, people seem kind of done with Pokemon. There's not a lot of people that are still watching it, unfortunately. I don't know if it's because it's a long series or if it's just because it, like, I didn't play it fast enough, which could be, t which could also be true since the game came out so long ago. Um, oh, okay. I guess we can name him Grumbus 3. 
since we have to keep selling Grumbus. Turn your kid into a dove. It's dead already anyway. No, I'm not I'm not turning my child into a dove. That's so mean. Oh man, I need fodder again. Well. Rip. Gotta go get some. Okay, can you... Why do you throw it outside the fence? Pig. No, okay. See? Stop. Just... You guys are getting on my nerves, and you don't even have milk. There. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that they that they think so. get an achievement for doing that? For turning your kids into doves? Oh my gosh. I don't know why you would want to do that. Like, what the point is. I kind of get the divorce thing because some people might want to marry somebody else. But the kid thing? That's like, whoa... You still watch my Pokemon vids? Oh, that's awesome, DJM. I do appreciate it. I mean, I... Like, the whole reason I haven't abandoned it is because I know there are a few people that are, like, still... into it and still watching, so... I don't know. Maybe the game was just too popular and too many people covered it. I don't know. It's hard to analyze these things. It didn't do too badly in the beginning. It just sort of dropped off. Which happens a lot for long Let's Plays. Which is why I think a lot of people don't do them. Like, they do more one-shots or, like, really short ones. Or, like, they, they kind of test a game. But they don't, like, do a Let's Try or something. that I need to sell. Yeah, I mean, I totally get why other YouTubers, you know, even friends don't really have the time to watch each other's videos because it's like when you're focusing on your own content it's really hard to do because there's so many there's so many people uploading and okay so i don't know i don't know what i need for this so i'm just gonna kind of bring everything I don't even know if Robin's open on Sunday, but we're going to go see. I hope she is. Are you planning on doing any one-offs on YouTube in the future? Um, well, I, yes. Because <laughs> of uh, Lullaby Gardens, the demo, I'm doing that. Um, oh good, she's open. Okay, upgrade. It costs a uh, hundred thousand gold. Do I not have to give her any materials? Guess not. Well, there went all my money. <laughs> this is gonna be great, though. Cause then we'll make even more money. Um. 
there's that i don't know i don't know a lot of like one shot kind of games to play i should probably do more like let's tries where i just like kind of try a game out instead of committing to it because i think that stops me from playing a lot of games because i feel like oh i have to finish this i have to like play it through the whole way and i really don't <laughs> like there's a lot of people that don't so i don't know why i feel like i do coffee because i do have a ton of games that i would like to, to show off on the channel but not necessarily like you know spend 10 hours playing them I want to make that Junimo thing, but I don't have enough star fruit. So, I'll have to start growing some in the greenhouse. We'll wait for that. Hashtag one shot Kita. Cat does a lot of one shots. Like, I tend to do more longer Let's Plays, and she does a lot of one shots. So, it's kind of funny. We're different in that way. Although she is doing Night in the Woods, which is a little bit longer. Um, I think sh it's like 10 parts. I could be wrong about that. But. All right, I'm going to plant this here since it. W Why won't it let me plant there? Is it because it's not tilled? Is that, is that why it wouldn't let me plant that? The other one? The ancient seed? That could be... That's annoying. Okay. I'm gonna go get it so I can plant it. Andy writes fiction says I should be uploading a video. Cat also breaks one shots. Yes, she does. She breaks games so bad. But yeah, you guys should check out her Night in the Woods. I have not watched it because I think I want to play it myself eventually. Like, maybe once it's um, on sale on Steam. But she said that it was really good, and she said that it would be a game that I would probably like. Because the characters are really interesting. So. I still can't plant this thing. Is it because? Why can't I plant this, guys? Tell me. Donated to the museum. Neil plays. Thank you for the follow. But it doesn't... It doesn't say that Gunther needs to... I thought I already did. Maybe I didn't. Oh, okay. I'll do that then. You have to craft it? Because I thought I already did that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't do any... No, I did. Okay. Thanks. Jeez. I'm like, what the heck? Got it. We're good. I don't think I'm missing too much stuff from the museum. I think it'll show me if I look. Uh, artifacts. Well, I guess I am missing a few artifacts. Jeez. With how much mining I do, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Although I do have almost all the minerals. I'm only missing two of those. So at least there's that. Oh, pineapple, are you leaving? Alright, see you later. She finished Night in the Woods. I think she's doing extra stuff with it, though. Um, there's, like... I don't know if it's, like, a prequel thing that's, like, an hour long or something. So she's... She's still got some stuff to do with the game. Oh, yeah. I need to... I need to get some fodder. I'm gonna just have to, like, plant a ton of that. 
I am running out of fodder and it's not good. All right. Here, move, move, duck, move, duck. Do you want to be fed? Okay, so they're they're all fed, so that's fine. I gotta see if I can get to the to Pierre's real fast. Does he close at five or six? I don't know. Well, we're gonna try. Lost constellations, yeah. And she's doing different stuff. Like events that she didn't see. So yeah, it'll she'll probably have a few more episodes of it. It's it, no no Pierre Pierre Ugh. Seriously Pierre Butthole Uh probably Night in the Woods, it's pretty popular. She does a lot of horror stuff, so kinda depends. She's doing the spookies house of or mansion or I don't know exactly what it's called. It's like the H. It's I think it's a remake. I'm just playing that right now. Um, she did Resident Evil. She streamed that, so she has all the streams online. She's got lots of stuff. I don't know if Marnie would like a parsnip or not. had its name changed because of legal reasons? Really? Wow. Ugh. Can't even give Marnie anything either. Hey, the Saints president. What's up? We got a lot accomplished in this stream. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Um, well, let's see the, let's see the house upgrade. We'll keep going because I think this is probably going to be the last Stardew stream since we pretty much did everything. So, Marnie's at the bar. Well, too late. I'm already home. She missed her opportunity to get a gift. Yeah, same. Errant Raccoon. I wanted to watch it too, but I think I want to play it for myself. Eventually. I say that, but there's so many games coming out, and I'm just like, ugh, I want to play them all. I want to play them all, guys. All of them. All the games. All the games. After the Wizards quest is when you stop playing as well. Yeah, I mean, I might play on my own, because I find it really relaxing to just play and do stuff. But, um, as far as streaming, I think we want to move on. I would like your input, though. Um, would you guys be interested in Trio of Town streams as the male character? Because I did start a file as the male character to hopefully get to the girl events to show them, like the bachelorettes. So I didn't know if you guys would want to see that on stream or if that would be too much, uh, Tree of Towns. And I wouldn't do it for the whole stream. I'd probably do it for about half, maybe. Kind of depending on how it goes, how I feel, all that. And then maybe the other half we do something else. Like shiny hunting or Hitman or something. I don't know, whatever I feel like, probably. But if you guys think that's too much, if you're not into it, that's fine too. It got changed because of a German company called Spooky House Studio. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's all fixed now. I guess I could get... Oh, wow. 
That's a lot of oil. I'll just grow more potatoes. Hitman. Yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be the full stream, probably not, because I don't want it to get ahead of the Let's Play um, for events and plot, sort of. But that was just something that I was thinking about. Because I'm going to be playing it anyway. Oh my gosh, I have no fodder. This is not good. You picked it up last week as a birthday present to yourself. I know, I bought it uh, when the physical version came out and it's like, I'm broke, but I'm gonna buy this anyway. <sighs> Hashtag my life. See you later. Seems present. I mean, I'll still probably do that from time to time, Andy. I don't know if I'd want to do that every Wednesday. Get ready to dust the PS4. I use my PS4 all the time. Actually, it's like my main like Netflix and streaming thing that I use. And when I actually have time to play games, which is never. I usually play on my PS4. not what I wanted to do. Or that. Where the heck? There we go. Okay. Tulips. Where are you? Are you here? I think. So I'll keep a gold star of that. I guess I can sell the rest. I just have so much crap in my inventory. right now. <laughs> Oh, shut up, goat. Hmm. I thought I was gonna get more potato seeds out of that. I'm not sure how long it's going to take her to do this. I don't know if it'll be done tomorrow or the next day. 
but I do want to show it off. So, I guess we'll keep going until then. I still play my Xbox One a lot. I still love it. I just, we had the PS4 first, so we have more games on PS4. State of Decay 2, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's good. Theron says, I have a feeling I'm coming on the tail end of the stream, but I wouldn't mind more Trio Town. I mean, like, I just feel like I'm going to play it anyway, so I could just stream it. Um, but if that's too much, then I get it. Since it is on the channel. You put yourself in the poorhouse if you got a PS4. Tiny green ball of hatred, thank you for the host. It actually played correctly this time. There we go. Now we should be able to get more fodder. Take these for sure. Thanks, pigs. Pigs are making me bank, guys. Oh, of course, cheese. Of course you would do that as soon as I leave. Of course you would do that. <laughs> yes, you did, John Monroe. Did I just hear Candyman? You did. I redid all my notifications uh, the other week, so everything's different. You're not allowed to say your YouTube earnings? Aren't you partnered with Curse? Or am I incorrect about that? Oh my god, get the money. <laughs> Becoming a YouTube megastar? Yeah, not really. It is not easy. I'm not saying it's impossible to make decent money, but it's... If you go into it thinking you're gonna make a ton of money, um, I have news for you. You left Curse and you're with a new network. Which network? Marnie, do you like these? I don't know if she does. She just sort of does. Whatever. Still a gift. I don't care. If you get into YouTube for money, you will fail. It's it's not lucrative the way that people think it is. I mean, it's like it's kind of like how a lot of people think that authors are millionaires. It's like no. Because I have my bachelor's degree in creative writing and a lot of a lot of people are like, oh, just, you know, write a book and then you'll have a ton of money. And it's like, that's not how it works. There's so much more involved. You're lucky if you get anybody to publish your book and let alone if it sells well, which a lot of that is out of your control. Like, 
some authors don't even get to name their books like their titles are changed or the covers are bad like they don't have control over a lot of that so and you you have to really sell a lot of books to be <laughs> to get you know rich and famous but people are like oh jk rowling did it and it's like yes she did i'm not saying it's not possible but the likelihood of doing it is not very high and it's the same with youtube i mean you might be able to make really good money off of it but it would take years and it would take a lot of a lot of hard work equipment time and it's you're not gonna get instant success from it if you get any success at all, you're kind of lucky, really. Especially now, because so many people are doing YouTube. So. I mean, money can be a goal if you want something to do with the money. But money in itself is kind of empty. If you want money to, you know, put yourself through college or help your mother or your grandmother or something like that, like, that's more of the motivation to get the money. But even still, there are better ways to make money than YouTube. <laughs> I mean, quite honestly. So, if I, if I worked a minimum wage job for 35 hours a week, I could make more than I make through YouTube. Easily. Just become a meme. Uh, Mini Donut says it's the same with theater or any music careers. That is true too. Chas says I can confirm Kita. I once published a book and got negative incomes. Not even joking about that one. Oh, you're Nova Six? Oh, okay, hey, tiny green ball of hatred. Oh, you're you're with Ritual. Interesting. I've never heard of them. I get annoyed because um, Freedom emails me from time to time, and they're like, Oh, do you want to join us? And I'm like, no. <laughs> you take a lot more than Curse takes. And you have a two-year contract. Curse only takes 10%. And Freedom, I think, last time I checked was, what, 40 or 35 or something? It was a lot. And I was like, nope, I'm good. Um, thanks. You found beer in a drawer somewhere? That's a little bit disturbing. Alright, so she's still working on the house, so it'll probably be tomorrow when it's finished. Oh, these are done. Grab these. You can eat that? That's a flower. Probably not a good idea. Okay, we need fodder. Close that. Yikes. We need fodder. Freedom sent you so many requests, and every time they promised they'd put you on the do not email list, they just lie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't- I- they're the ones that I get the most emails from, and I'm just like, I- I've already told you guys, I don't- I don't want to partner with you. I've heard horror stories about Freedom. Oh, I'm sorry I left the door open. Cry about it. 
Um, but yeah, I was just like, um, no, I'm, I'm happy with Curse. Like, I'm not really looking to switch at this point. Especially because they don't have a contract, so if you want to switch, you can whenever you want. And I'm just happy with them. They pay me on time. And they've always answered my questions really quickly, so I'm happy. But, um, yeah, the guy, like, after I was like, oh, no, thank you, like, I'm really happy where I am, whatever, and he was like, well, what are they doing to promote you? And I'm like, well, I don't think that you guys would promote me either, especially not for the higher cut that you would take or the contract that I wouldn't be able to get out of for two years. So... I don't know. That's that's YouTube advice. Uh, research before you accept a contract. Like, don't just jump into it because somebody contacts you. Because it may not be the best thing for you and your channel. Like, you're probably excited that they contacted you. That is not what I wanted to do. But... You should definitely look into, like, what other people have said about them and... And how much they're going to take, and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, if Ritual works for you, then that's awesome. We might as well take a chance on it. I mean, if, if it seems like a good fit, and if it doesn't, then you can always leave and go back I just I think with so there are so many youtubers that I almost don't expect any of them to be able to promote me anyway so it's just sort of like eh whatever uh, mini donut says I always hear horror stories about machinima I have no idea about them I can't say either way. I don't think I've heard anything about them, honestly. Oh, see you later, Aaron Raccoon. Thanks for hanging out with us. They force you to be super excited and happy like Disney workers? Well, that wouldn't work for me. Any network that tries to, like, censor me or tell me how I need to present my disposition or myself is like, nope, I'm good. I'm good. Where's Pam? Oh, right. She's at the bus stop. T I walked past her and didn't even notice. Well, I guess I'll go give this to Krobus. And then... The machinima stories are all true. Oh, jeez. Oh, I... I... Didn't really have any plans to... I am happy where I am, so I'm not really looking for anything else. Krobus! Get another heart, jeez. They forced mini ro mid roll ads on everyone in their network's videos without telling them. Oh my gosh. Like that kind of stuff, I, I want the creative control there. Because I, personally, I really don't like ads in the middle of videos. Like, when I'm watching someone else's, like, it really annoys me. So I don't do it myself. Like, I can't say that I would never do it, because I don't know what I'm going to feel like. But I try not to do that. Because it just seems like, like, this is a YouTube video. Why does there need to be an ad in the middle? I 
mean, for, like, really long videos, I guess it makes sense, but for your average 10 minutes to a half an hour video, it seems a little bit excessive. Hurry, Pam, have some beer. I totally didn't regift that to you or anything. Staying dry? I am, but you're not. Quickly, Richard Dang, get the charger. Run. Robin, you need to hurry up, girl. Hey, Kitsune girl. <laughs> First stream. First stream, like, towards the end of the stream. I always feel bad when that happens. We're just finishing up Sturdy Valley, actually. One YouTuber's only getting, like, 40%, which wasn't what we originally agreed upon. So then Machinimo's like, oh, we can give you 60 if you sign a two-year contract with us. So he was basically screwed out of money until the original contract ran out. Yeah, I'm wary of contracts for that reason. Because I don't know where I'm going to be in a year or two years. And I like the flexibility of Curse, where if I want to leave them, I can. Especially because YouTube already takes a big chunk, so then, you know, they're taking a chunk of that chunk, and it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's important to look at contracts. <laughs> it's the moral of the story here. No, don't. My oh, strawberries are done. Rhubarb isn't done yet. Rabbit's foot. Jeez, did we run out of fodder again? Ugh, you guys, too much fodder. You're gonna head off mini, mini donuts? Thanks for hanging out. You get a rabbit's foot just like that. That's like my third or fourth one. I actually got the first one from something in the, in the skull mine. I think it was the serpent. I've heard a lot of people say that it took them a long time to get the rabbit's foot. You love how Stardew Valley has a har harvest moon feel? Yeah, it's pretty great. Ooh, that's a lot of coffee. YouTube already takes 45%. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was uh, 45 or 55. I always forget what the split is. You don't know what happens when you finish the community center? I forgot how long it took. When I played this new file, I was like, geez, it's taking forever. 
took me until year three to finish it in this file because of the truffles. DJM, your art was good, the one that you sent me. And some of the stuff that I've seen on your Tumblr. I'm on year three. I just got to year three uh, in this stream. And I finished up the community center a couple days ago. In game days. Okay. I'm gonna wanna make more kegs then. Now that we can age the wine and cheese. Which we're gonna do in a minute. I wanted to get all the other stuff out of the way first. Need that. Is that everything? Yes. All right. Oh, gotta put the goat's milk in there. Missed that. That's okay. Alright. Pop that in there real quick. And get a bunch of cheese. I only have one thing of wine. Wow. I'll we'll have to make more I think that'll be enough to start with. Okay. So now that this is done, you can go down here. And it's a little wine cellar, so you can just... Put cheese and wine in these barrels, and they'll age it. There we go. Wow, was that like the perfect amount? Huh. So then it'll sell for more once it's done. So that's basically um, the last house upgrade that you can do, I think. Hold on, let me look again. I'm pretty sure you can actually place things down here. So like if you want to put preserved jars or kegs or anything, you have all the space to do that. So you can do that as well. You're having someone redo your YouTube banner? Oh, awesome. You got your charger, Richard Dang? That's good. It's always a moment of panic. Alright, Pierre. I gotta buy a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch, but just... We need fodder. Again. That truffle oil, though, that's making me a lot of money. Invest in pigs. <laughs> if you want to make money. Because it sells for a lot. Uh, in red section says, I was hoping to have this one guy do a commission, but he doesn't do them. I wanted one of me being cool in Alias. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
that's not what I wanted. to make sure that I feed them. Oh, since I didn't have any hay. I <laughs> like the show. Alright guys, well that was Stardew Valley Season 2, the second file. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out for the whole stream and then obviously a lot after the stream. But I really wanted to get it finished so that we can play some other stuff on stream. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. I'll think about it and then decide. But yeah, thank you guys for coming to the streams and supporting them on YouTube and all that stuff and just being here. It's awesome. But I'm going to go and lie down because this has been a long stream. Be free for once. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just found out that family is coming down in April. <laughs> so, and my grandfather was just in the hospital. He had pneumonia. Um, it was a mild case. He's okay. But he was in the hospital all week last week, and it's just, it's just been, it's always insane <laughs> over here. It feels like I'm, like, scrambling just to get my videos out, so. But, maybe someday I won't be super busy all the time. Maybe, looks off into the distance. But anyway, thank you guys for coming. And I will see you next Wednesday. Don't know what we're playing yet. I guess it'll just be a surprise, sort of. <laughs> so thanks for chilling with me. And I'll see you guys next week.